What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. How's it going? Sim Andy here. Today I'm going to be bringing you one of my uh, first reviews on the Logitech G27 as you can see in the background here. It's my first head shifter wheel. I've never had a separate one or anything like that. I upgraded from the Driver Force GT and I thought I'd just give the rundown and my perception on it all and how I felt about it. But as it speaks for the Logitech G27, um, I'm playing it on Forza 4 Horizon right now. <clears throat> I've played it for a multitude of games. Uh, I racing, Assetto Corsa, you know, such things like that. Uh, also Project Cars 2. But normally what I do, because I need a handbrake uh, for a lot of the games, especially when it comes to like rallycross games and um, setting tracks on iRacer for the iRacing Dirt series and stuff like that. I have a Thrustmaster Hotex X, which I use as handbrake. But let's get into the wheel itself and some of the properties about the wheel. So the wheel rotation does start at 14, also goes all the way around to 900, that's why I run it on myself. Um, it does have soft, stop, soft stopping, which is also a really nice feature. It is a cog bail base wheel, um, basically so you do you can get uh, belt ones and you get cogs, self explanatory. The pros and cons in between this, it is a bit rattly, I've noticed on a lot of rattly games. From the back part here where all the mechanism is, it does like rattle a lot. But on the plus side as well, it does give you the benefit of like you can feel the back end of your car slipping out and it does give you enough comfortability to progress with the wheel. Which also comes with the Logitech G27 is the heat shifter. The heat shifter I found itself is uh, very comfortable, it's fine, I've, I've not had no problem with it. The only downside to it, it does feel a bit slack when you're changing gears, you know, going from first to second, third to fourth, etc. Um, for me, I just like a tighter gearbox. Another pro to the head shifter, it does come with an extra back panel to it, so it has a lot more buttons. I believe in total, there's eight buttons with also a D-pad. Now these buttons can be assigned to anything you want within the game, they can be custom controlled, and you can also set your wheel up to x pad if you want to take it that step further, and you also want to, you know, give it some, like, macro keys, for example. I've personally never done it, but I've seen videos around on the internet, which people do, um, but I personally don't. Now another combination I found also to work very well with the Thrustmaster Hotex X is for such games as Farming Simulator. So what that enables me to do is I can control the tractors, trucks, whatever I'm using at the time with my feet. Obviously I can turn the wheel and it will turn the degrees of the vehicle. And I can also assign my joystick to lift the front loader, the back loader and things like that. So I can be pressing the pedals while I'm moving back and forth. Now speaking of the pedals, it does come with three pedals on there, you get your accelerator, your brake and your clutch. I also found that the clutch at first was a little bit tight and same for the brake, but as I've been using it over the month, you know, they're very smoothed out and they're really good. The only downside for this wheel right now it is discontinued, so unless you're getting it second hand, you will not be able to purchase it. I do know a lot of people have been selling them on like Gumtree, eBay, that, that sort of thing, in really good condition, so if you can grab one up, it's definitely worth it. Myself, I bought the full setup for £90, which I was very ex excited for because like, you're not going to find a wheel like that. The wheel itself does come with a bracket to hold it onto the desk. Basically, it's just a thumb screw at the top. You get two of these, so basically you twist them, it will clamp to the desk and it will hold it in place. The head shifter has the same type of mechanic as the two thumb twist screws. And then at the bottom, it also has another twist screw, so it really secures it to the desk. The pedals themselves, because I'm using them on the laminate flooring, I did find myself uh, slip and sliding around a little bit. There is a carpet gripper on the bottom, but obviously I'm not using carpet. Um, so for me, that was a bit of a downside. So all I did to rectify this issue was get some double-sided tape, some strong tape, and uh, put a couple of layers on the bottom of that, and this looked done perfectly. My overall review of this wheel, I'm very happy with it. Um, like, there's a pros and cons. You know, pros being, you know, it's, it's perfect for the beginner. So, such as myself getting into sim racing and things like that, I was I found myself you know lost with it. I was really happy, 
and um, it brings a good immersion factor to the games. The downsides, it can be a little bit noisy, a little bit clunky, and it is a cog driven one, so that's due to be expected. Um, and the shifter for me just felt a little bit slack, but other than that, I have no problems with it. But anyways, I thought I'd just bring you this quick review. Thanks for watching, guys. Please make sure if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give it a thumbs down. I've been Simandy. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.